from Fireman's Field West, the playground. Sandy, nobody else is here except me and no, you. The site of one of the most epic games we've seen in recent history. And yes, we it is desolate right now as compared to the four to five hundred people that packed this stadium on Friday for game five of the 2021 World Series, none of which were disappointed. No, how could you be disappointed when you see a ball game played out like that? We were saying throughout the series, you know, there was a close, a couple of blowouts, a couple of the games were close into the fourth or fifth inning, but this game five, and the videos can never do it justice because no. nobody could feel the heat of the day. Uh. Nobody could feel the pressure of the moment. You can't replicate that on video. Norman, I'll be so bold as to say, if you got like a seven nothing lopsided win, it could have been one of the worst played series in, <laughs> that I remember as the YMSL historian. It would have been definitely the worst five game series uh, I've ever seen. Um, I really, when I went to bed on Thursday night, I was just hoping for what we got. Yeah. An amazing game. Um, young and old here, men and women, just really treated to such a great day and really why this league is the best league in the community. I think it went beyond anyone's expectations because it was, we've had classic 0-0, yes. zero, zero, one-all games. We've had that. We've had high-scoring games. But this was, as we said on the telecast, this was really a bout. This was a heavyweight it bout was. in the ring was. where you see, you know, at the end of a fight, and I'm not a boxing fan, but you know, at the end of the fight, the guy collapses on yeah. the other guy yeah. and That's they, what just, happens. they the can't even stand burst. up. Yeah. It, it, even for the winner, Joe Eshko was saying how he can finally just let himself go. Yeah. Because, you know, he, he was hurt all year and then the pressure of leading a team in this type of series. It's, and, and, and now he won, he was holding the trophy. He's like, I can just exhale now. Um, and I think all the players agreed with that. Um, I, I've seen members of the Knights and the Kakamba since the series. Uh, it's still all they want to talk about. Um, obviously the Knights, ecstatic. The, the Knights Kikambas. will talk about this forever. Yeah. They were a five and seven team entering week seven. They were five and seven. They swept the Kakambas in week seven in a game that meant very little to the Kakambas. But had the Kakambas showed up that week, maybe they have a different opponent in the World Series and maybe right. they you win the World know. Series. You never know. Who happens, knows? But, but that got the Kakamba, that got the Knights shooting up. They swept that week. They had to play in the four or five playing game, right. which I maintain is a phenomenal format, the five team the format. format. I love the format. And one thing you said, it wasn't with me actually, it was with JT on the telecast. Game five can only be set up as a standalone. I think I, so. I really, I, I, and I agree with you. If if somehow you're playing a double header with the team up 2-1, I think if the team keeps the series alive, I think you stop it there. And wow. come back another day. I really feel like it was so special. Um, and so much attention was given to it and should be. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was the place to be. It was the only place to be. It was so good to see the, the, the vast, vast majority of the league show up no matter what team you're on. Yeah. But how could you not? If you're playing in this league and, you know, and you don't have a real obligation, if you don't really have to be at work right. or you don't really have right. to be at a family function or whatever it is, if you're playing in the league, how could you ever decide I'm going to stay home and watch TV or, or uh, you know, play toilet or play tennis instead of being at this game? No, and you I, saw, I, don't, I don't see how you can do it. I, I would really say 90 percent of the league's players were here. And I'll tell you, wives, kids, um, ex-players, uh, so many ex-members were here, um, yeah. uh, you know, that used to be in the league, whether they had affiliation or not, um, just Again, can't right, say like, it enough. For instance, Stevie Fallis, he had affiliation. His son is on the team. But Eddie Beta had no, no affiliation yeah. here. No, Eddie He's Beta just a guy that played in the league 100 years ago, and he was a legend. He won multiple times, and he was here. It, uh, you get it. You the get first it. pitch was guys. amazing. Marty Chucky, Jamal. Marty, of course. Marty's at every game. Right. We take him for granted, but he's at every game. 
um, Peaches, all these guys, but then you have a guy like Leon Sakal. When's the last time you saw him yeah. at a YMSL game? And you know what, you hear game five, you come. David Asher, I mean, all these guys that, that you know, were staples in the league, um, come back for this type of game. So it was, it was really great, and like you said, we'll get into it, but what a game it was. What a game it was, because, I mean, you talk about a team game, you need every person oh. to contribute. There were so many people to point out in this one seven inning game. There was, there's just so much to unpack. I don't even know where to start. I guess we'll go through the game. Yeah. But you start off with a one, two, three inning from A.B. Cohen and he looks sharp. Right. He looks beautiful. One, two, three from Marty, Farka, Abe J. Cohen, and it looks like he's on his way. And then you get this beast, Jack Abaddy, I don't know if you've ever seen a performance like this. I no. mean, it, it, I've never seen it in a losing uh, team for sure. And now. a lot of I people, mean, you know, not taking anything away from DC Clutch, but a lot of people felt a baddie could have won MVP, um, you know, in, in a losing effort, which you rarely see. You rarely see uh, it. But his performance, not just in the World Series, the, the entire season and then postseason, is you know, we said last year that. We don't think anything that Zach Ashkenazi did could ever be duplicated. And I don't know, I, you can't compare the two performances because Zach's was very rare and that he didn't get a lot of chances. And every time he came up, he did something to almost end the game. Right. But, so it was a little different. Jack, Jack, Jack got the chances, yeah, Jack, and, but and, also and, every and time. Delivered, <laughs> and delivered every time. It was as much as, it was just two different performances. Very but, different. But, Zach, but, but, I was thinking of Zach also, by the way. Zach's games were much lower scoring. Yeah. He had to wait for his at-bats. He got three at-bats a game. They would walk him one time, and every time he came up, he came through with the triple Jack, home run. They, they really had to pitch to him a lot of times, but he never made out. It, it, I mean, he really never made out. Um, and so, you know, he delivers in the first inning. In the first inning, he hits triple, the triple down the line. Mark gets him in. Looked like Mark off the bat, and I watched the highlights. Looked like it was going to be a hit. You actually had it as a hit off the bat. <laughs> um, but they take the one nothing lead. Now, you mentioned A.B. Cohen because he, the first inning was very easy for him. And then he got the first out in the second. Easy. And I thought this next play really, you know, turned because he gives up a fly ball, which looked like should have been caught. I mean, yeah. It was in left center. Someone was going to have to run and get it, but there was... There just seemed to be no urgency and no communication on either part. And all of a sudden, instead of being, you know, two outs, nobody on for him, he's got a man on second with one out and Henry Shallum. Yeah, and it got to him for sure because... Yeah, uh, I mean, there was no, I, you know, it just, to me, it was, uh, it's a ball that has to be caught. I agree with that 100%. That ball had way too much air for it not to be caught, especially when you were watching it live. It looked like a fly ball. And you have two of the fastest. And a lot of times after we watch it live, I like to see the highlights to see if, if my initial reaction was wrong. On this, it was not wrong. No, the ball was up there. It should have been caught by DK or Jake. I yeah. thought they both could have gotten there. Neither of them really went for it. That ball dropped no. with nobody really near it no. even. And then, so, and then DC gets the big hit for the first run. So now, whereas it, you know, it very easily should have been one nothing. still, it's one all. Yeah. And the Knights are now... You know, they have a little life. Because in the beginning, if you watch the highlights, the Kakambas had all the juice early. Yes. You could see it. Just the the, 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 the banter, the, the, the rah-rah, all that, and the lead. And now all of a sudden it's one all, and the Knights are, you know, the Knights put up a, you know, put tie the game, and then the Kakambas come back and put up a zero. Then Morris Harari comes up, and he splits a gap with two outs yes. and two runs score. To make the score 3-1, I literally thought at the time, because it was a sort of a low-scoring game, the the, game, I thought it was the game. I thought, <clears throat> like, that's the biggest hit of the game. Maybe he's going to be the MVP of the series. Because right. he's had, the Knights had such a balanced attack all series. Yeah. Like, they had nobody that batted 900. Uh, their big boys, like, Marty stepped up late in Game 5. He right. got on the last couple of times. But early on, he wasn't getting on. Farka missed two games where he didn't get on, but then he got a big ribby later in the game. Right. Um, so they had such a balanced attack. But now Morris Harari steps up, and you say, this guy, I mean, 
Who could want this game more than wow. Maris Harari? Ten years in the league, and you saw from week one how much he loves the league. He never won, right? He never won. Yeah, yeah. And then you see him come through like that in a big spot going the opposite way, something he doesn't normally split, do. Split, you know, in no, like you say, split the gap, no man's land. Yeah, Kiriyat Yamsu. And there's him a 3-1 lead. And like you say, in these types of games, could be everything. But the Kakambas came up the next inning. How about the reaction from both teams every time there's a hit? Every time a run scores, it looks like you just walked off. Yeah. It looks like a regular season walk-off. Every right. time you score a right. run, everyone around the plate jumping because yeah. there's a run scored. It was so well, amazing. That's what, it, that's what a game five is. That's what it does. And with the crowd, the funniest thing from the highlights is with the crowd, you actually hear the roar of yeah. the crowd yeah. when there's a hit or when there's a good play. You hear the wow. You hear the crowd make noise. It was it's awesome. wild. It really was. But like you, now, like you said, the Kakamba's, they didn't let the Knights feel good about that lead for an inning. No. They, they come right back. It was yes. a Jacobati walk. Right. A Mark Braha double bloop on the line. Yes. By the Correct. way, the yeah, congruency of this game, Hank had a bloop down that line. Mark had a bloop down that line. Turner had a foul ball that just missed. And Solly Tawell had a foul ball that just missed. We had a double play by Jack Abadi there, short center, touching second, throwing at first. Yeah. We had a double play by Ruby Saka, touching a symmetry, second. Yeah. It was just so even in every yeah. regard. Oh, that's good points. Good it was points. so, so even. So in this inning, Jack Abadi walks. Mark Braha doubles down the right field line on a bloop. So now so, second and third, no out. No out. Solly Towel comes up. He manages to hit the ball to the right side, which ironically would end the game later on hitting right. the ball to the right side true but he hit he managed to hit the ball to the right side gets the run in mark goes to third and mark goes to third which was huge because that runner going to third is is a, is a huge difference he could score on an out he ended up scoring on the abe haber ground so now ball. abe haber hits a ground ball mark collision yes but mark did not break right away i saw it live and i confirmed it on the replay he he broke. Chucky was saying, go, 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 go. He stopped for a second. Uh, kept going. The throw comes home. He has him at home. Uh, collision at the plate. Glove falls off Turner. In the, in, in, the, in the moment, we were saying, drop the ball. Never drop the ball. The glove just fell out of his hands. Such a weird play. Which we learned is like the ball falling out of your hands. You have to... Keep control of the glove. I mean, if you think about it, it it's makes obvious. Sense. <laughs> it's obvious. It makes he sense. didn't have the ball. Because you can't throw the glove at someone no. and peg them. It's just very odd because, as Leon the Ump uh, was saying, usually when the ball comes out, you see the ball on the right. ground. You see it rolling. You see it. You see the guy right. looking for it, reaching for it. It was such a weird play because the ball was in the glove. No one could find where the ball was. But then you looked at Turner, and he had no hands. He picks up the glove and pegs. Right, 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 right. <laughs> But uh, so the, they got the call right. You ever see a more delayed call? Yeah, it was that? very delayed. <laughs> Haber stayed on first. I wonder if Haber could have went to second. I thought he could have gone to third. Yeah, all the, uh, I thought it could have been like confusion. a Taiwan Walker right. throwing yes, the ball that was out. Great. Or yeah. like a David Cohn back in the 90s yes. arguing the play yes, at first. And then the guy, the guy just kept going. Haber could have gone to third there, in my opinion. But uh, but he winds up at first, and they and it ends there. They 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 end the no. They get another run there. Yes, they get another Haber run. Haber scores. Yes. Haber the... scores from first yeah. on a Sorry. crazy play. Sal Fallis gets out. He flies out. And then Abe Hollywood Dweck Singles. comes through yet again with a single directly up the middle. Haber um, goes first to third. So now what happened in this play is Farka comes up deking a throw to second. Yeah. Deking a throw like he's going to throw it. Wanting Hollywood to go to second. You're not going to get Hollywood like that. He's in the league too long. You do that when someone who's not normally on base or someone that's a rookie, you could try to get them like that. Hollywood happens to be a phenomenal yes. base runner with the untouchables. He scored from first on that crazy play where he broke his leg at home yes. plate on Diamonds East. He's a phenomenal base runner. He knows the game. You're not going to deke Hollywood. I thought this was a terrible moment for Farka. He held the ball. So now as he has the ball, he still has the ball, and he just did this. Haber's already on third, and Chucky very alertly sends him. Yes. Haber doesn't hesitate, and now Farka's got to make the throw, and uh, and Haber scores, and giving the them a lead. The throw wasn't great right. either. Right. This is great instincts by Hollywood, by Chucky, Chucky 
and Bob and Haber. Haber. Yeah, all three of them. That's intensity. That's game five intensity. Because you, you say you, I, I hear you on Farka wanting the deke and that not being his best moment. But like they always say, it takes a perfect throw. It takes all of that for him to have actually been safe. Oh yeah, it took a perfect situation. Farka for can't the, imagine that ha that Haber is going to score from first. On no, that. no, cannot, cannot. But you know what? It could have cost him the season. Yeah, that no, game no. could have ended four three. Unbelievable. That game could have ended four three. And it could have cost him the season, and we could have been analyzing that play for the next 20 years. Like JT said, we'd be talking about uh, Eddie Turner for 20 years. We could have been talking about Abe Haber scoring from first on the guy with the best arm in Farka right. on a ground ball yep. up the middle yep. forever if that ended up being the game because he was trying to deke Hollywood and get a free out somewhere. I thought this was a very bad play because of who the personnel was. Right. Haber, Hollywood... Chucky on third, like you said, and it burnt them. They, they went up 4-3, they, they, and they went nuts, Sandy. They no, were going nuts it. over and here. And now, next play, which I thought, to me, is a series saver, is Ike Batesh. Crazy. When the man on second hits one in the right center gap, has hit written all over it. All over. Maybe Jeff lays out, makes a, an, an amazing catch. Saves a run, and now instead of 5-3 and Ike probably on second, and st the inning's still alive, now all of a sudden it's 4-3. Knights have a little momentum. They're coming in. They just gave up the lead, but it could have been worse. You just nailed it on the head how much action was in this game. Because when we're talking and watching about the game, you couldn't even discuss the Farco play because right. 10 Next seconds play was later, Ike you see a diving yeah. catch. And then you have to go to the umpire and ask him about the call at home. There's just so much in one moment. This is where the game went from a great game five, one all, three one, into an all-time yeah. memorable game. The fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh. The last hour of this game was, was just and then this back and forth. Like you say, now you come in, could have been 5-3, was it? And all of a sudden, the night strike back. And Farka redeems himself. Yes. With a man on second. Yeah. He comes up. He hits a scorcher. A scorcher to Fallis. Fallis gets a glove on it. Does but, he? Did he go yeah, with his leg? I, I, oh, he gets something on it. And it squirts. He, I mean, he can't field it cleanly. It was hit so hard. It squirts into the outfield. Runner from second scores. And now we're tied again. Yeah, and I don't know what the exit velo was on that, but I don't know a first baseman in this hit, league that makes that play. That There's ball nobody. Was hit really, really, really hard. No, yeah. nobody makes that play. You got to be a defensive, a, a defensive first baseman only to have a chance at that. Like maybe Steven Batesian, maybe ten years ago. Like right, that's it. All right, tough you play, know. and you you have to get a little lucky to feel that. Also, you have to get lucky. You have to be a Sammy Towel extraordinaire to make a play like that. But the, the, legitimately, to make that play is pretty hard. And then you got to beat Farker to the bag. So to me, that's a hit yeah. all the way. No, definitely, definitely. Now so it's four all. Now it's four all, and then Farker becomes AJ Cohen, and then after AJ Cohen is Eshko, and then Hank. Two of those guys get on to load the bases for DC. Now he comes up. This is the play that everyone is going to be talking about yeah. because the score is 4 all at four the time. 4 he comes up. He's had a tremendous postseason. Yes. I mean, I don't know what his average was. I don't really care because I'm telling you I didn't see him pop the ball up once. I didn't see him not hit a line drive. His outs were all line drives into the outfield. Yeah. He, he was really, really on. Um, and, I, you know, I thought he took a huge step in the league this year. His fielding was always great. First couple of years, his, his hitting was not, you know, where it is now. He gets up, and he hits a sinking line drive to center, which had hit on it off the bat. But Jake DeWeck, being the sensational outfielder he is, gets a glove on it. Yeah. Get, so, it's in his, I mean, it was in his glove. Yeah, so to me, this is the difference between if you're just a fan that came for game five. Right. Or if you know the YMSL. Right. Every fan that was here... That's not a regular. Correct. Said, what are you talking about? That's a hit all the way. Hit off the bat. That's a line drive up the yeah, middle. And then the people that know him tell you that's an error. Jake makes that play. Right, right. 10 out of 10 right, times. Right, correct. Not nine. Correct. We've seen Jake make diving plays to left, diving plays to his right, diving plays backwards like Jim Edmonds making diving plays over his head. I didn't know if he was going to get it. But the, then when I saw him dive, I said, oh, this is an out. Yeah. 
But like we've been, we've seen Jake make every play you could make a shoestring catch, a dive over his head. The play he's made the most is this is this play. Nobody is better running in on a ball and making that play than Jake Dweck. And in fact, if you ask me, a sinking liner to center, give me your center fielder. I don't care who it is. If it's Farka, because Farka plays a little deeper. If it's Abe J. Cohen, Abe J. Cohen to me is, like you said, the best word, sensational. And his arm is really, to me, the, the his yeah. best asset of all. Um, Joe Greenberg, who could get to a ton of uh, plays. You ask me the center fielder I want on that ball. If you froze it and put it midair, I want Jake Dweck. And he did not make the catch. Which So again, if you're not a regular, you think that's a hit all the way. If you are a guy that has watched Jake yeah. throughout his career, he makes that play, and you know he knows. Right. If we're saying he makes that play, obviously oh, he knows again, he makes that he, play. In nobody his harder on himself than him after that. And, you know, worst result possible because it squirts by him, three runs come in, and now it's 7-4, and I'm sitting there, even though the game was back and forth, I thought that was the game. I, for sure I thought I, that I, was I, the I, game. That's it. I mean, it's 7-4 now. The reaction was a little delayed, but you hear the roar. Yeah, you hear the roar. After, it was awesome, actually. You also couldn't see right away. I couldn't see right away that if it, he yeah, had caught yeah, the ball yeah. or not. Also, uh, I wasn't sure. I thought he had caught it. In fact, I said, Jake, meaning Jake made right, the catch. Right, 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 But right. then I saw the ball trickling by him, and then it's all and of a sudden 7-4. that's inning over. It was two outs. Nobody's tagging. I mean, it, you know, that was inning it. Inning over, and, and now it's World Series over, 7-4. Seven, 7-4, four. Seven, four, but... 7-4, and it's late. It's fifth inning now. This pesky Kakamba team does not go away, and they get, they get, they they come back and make this an even tighter game. <laughs> it's just crazy. This is the play that me and you debated before, during, and well, after. Well, first, first get there because okay, he, go they, get they, me there. They got the first and second with one out. Bottom of their order. Got on. Abe Saroya led Abe off. Abe Saroya got on. DK single. hit a force play to Ruby. Yes. So Jake now. Jake walked. Man on first. Man oh, on Jake first. singled. Sorry. Jake okay. singled. Jake singled. First and second, and now a baddie comes up. Right. Now, I actually, not tooting my own horn, but I actually said seconds before. Crazy. If a baddie singles up the middle, two runs can score. Yes. It was first and second. The next second, he singles up the middle. Let's discuss how that's possible for a minute because we're standing over there. We were standing right there when it happened. Very deep. Outfielders are very deep. Very deep. Jake is speeding. But how do you have the back control? It's crazy. For you to say he should hit it up the middle, well, for me to say previously the right field line is open, right. and both times he hits the spot. It's, it's, forget, it's supernatural. Forget that it's game five in the right. fifth inning, and right. you're down 7-4, and you got the two men on, and everyone's assuming... Every time he gets up, you assume he has to get a hit, and he does. How do you have the control? You said he should go up the middle, but then he goes up the middle. The ball almost hits second exactly base. Exactly up the middle. The, ball, the the grass, if it was a slow outfield, they're playing so deep, he's the tying run also. So you can't give up a home run, so and if they're, they're playing deep. And, and if they're playing shallow, he's going to hit the ball right, over the over head. Right, over the head. So, and if they shift to left, he's going to hit the right. And so they, obviously, guy on second scores. Yes. Jake goes first to third. He's basically a third before Farka fields it. Yes. So now, or whoever fielded it, and they went four there. So I don't know who I don't know who actually fielded it. Okay. But whoever fielded it comes up, and he's already he's already home. He scores. Now it's man on second, one out, and seven six. Yes. Solly Towel comes up. No, Mark. Mark walked. Yeah. Now Solly comes up. Now Solly's up. First and second, two outs. Now, I said before the play... He could go to here. He could go to here. It's a 7 Which I'm okay game. with going to. Yes. And Solly could hit the ball as deep as anybody. And he didn't. He and didn't he hit didn't. it crazy deep. So, off the bat, I thought it was a play that a baddie's going to try to go to. I, I said it from before, and you disagreed with me from before. And I felt that it was an opportunity to tag two. Then, when the throw went to second base which is a terrible yes. idea, yes. a terrible decision. Correct. You got to know that this guy has the potential to tag too. You got to know that if you've seen Jack Abadi over the last 15 years. Correct. And it's a 7-6 game, and now there's going to be two outs on a fly ball, so you don't want to just stand there with two outs. You got to know he has the potential. 
when that throw goes to second, that's when you see Chucky go yeah. like this, yeah. go like this. And Jax was shallow. I mean, he was midway second in the pitcher when he had it. <laughs> yes, yes. But the throw did not go in a straight line. It went from left to sort of second base, middle of the field, and then down. And not only did the throw go to second, but it went to Joe Eshko. Which I know their rule is we're going to run on them. They didn't last week. It caused the whole thing. I get it. What about the ground ball to Joe Eshko earlier in the game? He almost threw it in the parking lot. Yes, and what I about... get that he bounced it, yeah. even this play. But And then another ground ball to him he did throw in the I'm parking gonna lot. I'm going to tell you why I didn't like it. Not because it didn't work. A couple of reasons why on the, in, the, in the moment I didn't. This team, this year, this is their model. We know. This is what Jack does. This is what the team does. Again, I didn't go to every game they played. I would say they got burned on it more than it worked for them this year. I saw them make, myself, and I'm a roving reporter. Yes. I saw them make at least double digits in outs on the bases on just trying to take that extra base. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't always work. Right. And the thing of it takes a perfect throw. It took a guy who I know has a bad arm. He's throwing basically from the pitcher's mound. I know he bounced it. Uh, well, that matters. But I still, but I still. No, that matters. Seeing that, I still don't do it. And the other reason I didn't like it, likely the next batter, Abe Haber. This guy would have been on second. Uh, I mean, Jack's on third. Yes. So likely Abe Haber might might get walked. Okay. In the next in the next spot, there was no guarantee at that point. Jack and Batty's coming up again. If you do, if you don't do this, you at least get through another couple of batters, assuring you that a batty and those guys come up again. But when you're down seven six, it's not like you're down seven four, and you gotta think, am I getting another at bat? I'm not. I know. I'm not. I, when I, you're I, down I, seven six, you're at the point I want to. I know. I'm game. not thinking. I, I, but but I just felt like it was too risky a play, and I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I I know. I I didn't see this team succeeding at this. That much this year, like I said, I would say more times than not, it burned them. That's fine. In this case, I felt the fly ball was deep. I felt the throw, I know the throw went to the wrong spot. That's for sure. I know the wrong and guy. And I know the wrong guy had, had it. the I ball. Get it. I still and I know it. that that guy, from I don't care how many feet away it was, 30 feet, 20 feet, I know that guy did not throw the ball to the catcher. But you on the spot were against it. As he's running, I was like, he's going to go too. And I'm saying, no, no, no. And you're saying, no, he's not. So we disagreed the first second. At that moment, 7-6 like with two outs. I That's the key. Two outs. I would, if, if he, he made the second out at home there, and he could have been on third with like one out, let's say. He could have been standing on third with one out. That's a different story. Right. He would have been on third with two outs. The throw went the wrong way. I get it. And Eshko had the ball, and then he bounced the ball. To me, I liked it. It's not like Turner made a phenomenal play. He picked up the ball. It was an easy bounce. Yeah, yeah. It was an easy bounce. It could have been a tough bounce. It could have squared it away. I mean, look at what home plate looks like right now. It could have gone anywhere. But he made the play, and then he made the tag out at the plate, 7-6. Um, Which proved to pretty, you know, that was it. I mean, in well, other it, words, it really wasn't because look no, at what we, happened. No, they had chances. Obviously, oh, yeah. They, they had big time they chances. Had chances. Um, well, first the Knights get it to 8 6. Yes. On huge. another. That was Marty. But before that, I believe Jake also came in on something, had to dive, and didn't yes, get it. Yes, yes. Good call. That was a Max Sutton uh, fly ball to center. Um, that Jake, again, should have caught for sure. That Which, one more so than the first I one. I think so, but he's probably still gassed from the first one. Who knows? Um, maybe that miscommunication from the first play of the game that we were talking about, the Knights' first hit when no right. one went for it. Who knows? It was a rough day for him out there, but he let Max get on base. Saul Fallis made that <laughs> unbelievable play. play. Web gem. Full extension, yeah, full extension in the air. Him. Tag the base on Turner. Yeah. Unbelievable. Um, again, another moment of people just pouring it out, you know? Yeah, like a, it was awesome play. Awesome play, but that let the runner go to second. I wonder, since he got caught the ball there, if he could have had a throw to second on that play. But either way, That's he gets tough. the guy. It's tough. I mean, he made a tremendous play. Out at first, man goes to second, and I believe Marty got him home. It was Marty. Farka yeah. ended up getting another base hit after that to try to get more. But they only scored one that inning, so it was 8-6. Now you go bottom six. Kakambas have another chance. They get they load him with one out. Well, yeah, they load him with one out 
for Abe Soroya. Now, Ike Batesh worked a walk in this yeah. at bat. Yeah, this was, and it, and it wasn't an, in other words, it was a base open, I believe, but it wasn't an intentional walk, obviously. Hell no, 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 and, no. Uh, yeah, I mean, you so, want to get Ike there. I mean, he battled, and Abe came up great. I mean, he's, you know, they'll tell you, unbelievable fielder. He's got some big hits for them. I don't know if they spoke to him before the at bat or not, but he swung at the first pitch, which, you know, I think, I think there was a resounding agreement everybody here that that's not what you do when you see him swinging at the first pitch yeah, you're, you're shocked you're, grunt. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're shocked just, like, wait you know, first pitch swinging like you can't believe it and I, I he knew it um he knew it jack got on him a little bit he grounds it to hank and coming in hank has an easy throw home now base is loaded though base is loaded he just walked ike abe saroy is much smaller than ike you know, so it's a harder strike yeah. zone. And now it's the pressure is a hundred percent on yeah, the pitcher. And now he's saying every time we score, you know, the, it gets in your mind. Can I can I really hold it down? Um, I mean, Leo is very stoic on the mound, very unemotional, very. Uh, he doesn't get. He does really does not get razzed. The, the 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 heckling and all that really doesn't appear to get to him. I know they employed some type of nonsense if he doesn't like the silence. Well, because of the noise yeah, wasn't getting there. Because the noise wasn't getting there, which was cute, but their point is well taken. He, you know, he really doesn't. He never answers. He never, even when he gets the big out after he gets razzed, he doesn't do that. You know, Syrian, eh, talk to me now. Whatever. Right. You know, he doesn't do that whole thing. Right. Um, the classy he, guy. Yeah. No, he really is, and so. But, but, I mean, it's got to get to you. Of course. Abe bailed him out. Swinging first pitch. You're all alone on that mound. Yeah, yeah. And even if he threw strike one, he's still got, he's still got a yeah, way he's to got go. A... Base is loaded. It's getting out. Can you imagine if this went to a 2-1 count and he's oh got to throw, gosh, he's yeah, either got to throw sure. a cookie or it goes to 3-1 and then Abe has a red light. Like, you got to work a count sure. there. You got to work a count there. He did not ground ball out at the plate and it, 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 about as easy of a play as you're going to get. Routine ground ball. In. His momentum taking. I mean, if you're gonna play. swing, tell yeah. me he flew out. Tell me right. he hit the ball right, right side. Right. Nothing. The worst thing that could possibly happen. And now DK's up oh. with two outs. Now, I mean, I asked Leo. I mean, DK hits a line drive right back to Leo. <laughs> Leo catches the ball. I asked him, was it behind you when you caught it? It was. Watch the rebase. No, no, I could. It was behind him. It was a was, bullet. It was like here. It was a bullet. Unbelievable. I mean, you know, play of the game for sure. I mean, I don't know about play of the game, but one of the plays of the game. I mean, out out of the game. Yeah. The I biggest mean, out of the game, let's say, or, or the base running out. Yeah, I, and then you have the a, a, a I don't know catch. if DK's play would have been made behind Leo. I mean, it was hit extremely uh, yeah. hard. But they were playing up the middle Had also. Had tie game written all over oh, when, yeah. he, when he hit it. Now the Knights... Do the classic one, two, three. They just want to get back in the field yeah. and win that championship. But the Kakambas don't go quietly. They get a base runner. Yes. And they get... They get two base runners. They get two base runners. They get two base runners. Ja uh, first, Jake struck out, by the right. way. Jake strikes out looking. Now, Jacob told me, my brother told me, he goes, look at Leo's pitches at 3-0, and yeah. which I didn't really realize. He goes, he probably threw his three best pitches of his life. 3-0 count, leading off the seventh with Jack Abadie on yeah, deck, yeah. who's an automatic hit yeah. at this point in the series. And he gets, he pours in strike one. Jake's not swinging there. I don't think Jake is swinging at 3-1 okay anyway. With that. Me too. I was like, he cannot swing in front of but, Abadi down by and two. And I know there was some arguing on the, th the third pitch, whether it was a strike or not. It's a strike every day of the week if you take that. Leo had the guts three and two. at 3-2. Three to throw it hard. It yeah. was a hard. And he started walking to first. The whole thing was not a good look. It was a it's hard. It's a strikeout 100 out of 100 times. Hard, fast pitch, outside corner, looked like a strike. Um, tough moment. I mean, I think Jake must have been surprised because he poured in strike one and two. Strike three. He figures he's going to get maybe a, you know. He reared back. Yeah, He reared back and he came through. A bad he gets on again, which is just ridiculous. Like even in the moment, Crazy. he gets on again. Crazy. Now he's on, and then Mark, Mark gets on. Mark works a walk. He's been managing to get on again. Now there's two men Mark on again. Got on all day, or got you know he had an RBI early. Got on all day. Now you're up to the point of the lineup. The Solly Towel behind him is going to become uh, 
Abe Hollywood, Abe Haber, saw yeah, about guys all up. these guys that could all of a sudden they could walk off. They could walk off. <laughs> they could tie the game. They could walk off. You one or two hits away from winning the game. Two and men then, on. And then Solly, like you say, he alluded to it earlier, does not go dead bull. Goes up the middle, right well, side. First he rips the foul yeah. ball. Where's foul? I mean, foul by off the bat. I, I, five to seven I feet. thought it was more closer than it was live. When I looked at it, it, it was... It was just a, a, a crazy feeling when you hear him hit yeah, the ball yeah, so yeah, hard. on a line. On, on a line. line. And, and, then, then he, and then he hits one to Ruby. And I'll tell you, Ruby Saka... Can't say enough about his presence on the team. He is such a great fielder, such a great guy for a team, such great energy. Feels the ball, takes it himself to the bag, throws the first, not the best throw. Harari holds the bag and then, you know, let the celebration begin because the Knights win one of the best games that I've watched in recent memory. Um, and everybody left it all out there on the field. And there's th this game had everything it had back and forth it had big outs it had big hits it had questionable uh sends questionable things that happened during the game the one thing it didn't have was questionable calls by the umpire which is great which you asked for and yeah you got yeah um and just a heavyweight battle like you said that went to the knights and they are the world champions unbelievable job by the knights unbelievable passion by both teams um and then it, just so, so many feel-good stories by the knights abe cohen he mentioned it in his post game yeah, he lost, he lost game four game fives this is his second ring how good for him to get this leo cassin been doubted and doubted again there's no one could ever doubt him again you win one okay maybe they had the right team that dress or that this guy stepped leo up he'll prove he proved he's he, a champion he can win I am very impressed with Leo. I really am. I think he's he's a guy that, that can handle it. He can handle the heat. He gets, I mean, he doesn't, they're not shy with him. They 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 talk to him all game. They have the, uh, you know, the language and that. I really, again, I'm not a, I'm not a choir boy. I'm a big boy. I, I, I love sports. I know that there's trash talking and all that. I'm not, I'm not saying that there's no room for that, but I really hate when the other team talks to the other team, I hate the whole, you know, you walked in for me, disrespect. I hate all that. It's my worst thing. And I don't think you see it a lot on these, you know, on, uh, with these two teams. I didn't see it at all. Yes. Well, when Jack kept getting walked, Mark steps up to the plate. And he doesn't, doesn't say, a, say word. a word. Okay, that's the play. He gets gonna, up there, that's Mark the is play. great, but Jack is better. That's so, the what, play. You know, what are you going to do? Right. You're going to walk him. Right. AB Cohen got walked a couple of times for Eshko. Doesn't say anything. You know, like. It, 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 it was, but just again, this game, this series, this season was so amazing, so amazing down to the five team format because who needed Cherokee's tribe time or you got to believe to earn the, the to, to have the right to play in this postseason. They didn't earn it. I know. They didn't deserve I it. know people question the format and I know, you know, especially people who don't make the playoffs and three teams leave and, you know, that. but I, I love the format. I think it makes for. Uh, great softball. I think it makes for playing down to the wire. I think every year we have to have a game to get to the four or five game. There's always something you gotta be. You can't. You can't take a week off. You gotta earn it. The Knights entered last week of the season out of the playoffs and they earned it, and now they're champions. If you can't do that, you don't get the right to get the magical I run. I, I love it. Like I said, the only change I'd make is I'd make the LCS longer because. It's not a, you don't have a long playoff. You don't have that round with the two teams with the bye. So I think that we could use a three or five semifinal. But again, we'll discuss that on the off season. We'll see how the votes came in. I don't know if, if I'm alone in that. Um, and uh, we'll see where that takes us. But yes, I love the, I love the four or five game. I love the format. Um, and I think the league has been very competitive, very good over the last couple of years and you know we've been really treated to great great softball sandy signing off for the 2021 season um i mean from where this league was three years ago when we came in and i want to thank you i want to thank jack zolta i want to thank the committee um who was handled so much especially in the beginning when we changed so many rules from easy rules like pinch runner going down to one 
How good is that rule? How good really is that rule? Think about that Jack Abadi had to, when he was taking himself out, he had a guy that he didn't insert into the game yet. Yeah. And you, in an intense moment, go, he makes the obvious move of inserting Nako. <laughs> Tried to make a little joke, but like over. Uh, rules like that, down to the uniform rules, but really the code of ethics rules and things like that that are not easy. I have to thank um, my committee of Max Yadid, Morris Casson, Eddie Michon, Lee Zakaria, Sonny Shalom, and Jack Abadi, who until this year was on the committee and probably along with Michon, the most vocal about cleaning up the league. Yeah. And, and I think the difference between three years ago to now is so stark. I agree. Where anyone could take over at this point, and I the agree. league is at a much better point. And I think that was the goal. I think that was the goal when, when we came in. And I have to thank the people that give up their time, uh, that don't get paid a cent for it, like Zolta, like you. Like my father when we tell him to do a video and he doesn't really know what the teams right. are or no, anything. It, it, it's um, great. And Ronnie Towell with the website, Abe Cohen with the website, Mo Cass with the logo. So many people have it's contributed. Been it's, it's been and great. look where the league is now compared to where it was three, four years ago. You know, and, so. Um, and Norman, you're thanking everyone, but obviously we cannot be here without you. The point is, Sandy, before you do all that, <laughs> the point is. I could do highlights and I could do videos. If the players agree, don't agree, buy but... in, if they don't buy in to clean up the league and to say that this is the thing I want more than anything in sports is this championship, then it means nothing. Anyone can make a video. Anyone can make a video to to have the players that want that cup so much. Yeah. No, no, that's it, no question. That's the key. It is, but, but you can say that you can make a video. You can say, but your creativity, your dedication... Uh, the, the amount of, of things that you send out that everybody loves and maybe even takes for granted now, the coverage you provide, uh, the caring that you have, and you clean the league up. So, yes, everybody has to buy in. That's very nice of you to say, but we would not be here without you. So, again, I'll end this, uh, you know, this, this, this little love session with that. You are unbelievable. We all love it. Um, this is the best league. I've said it a thousand times. And... For the final time, this is it. Sandy Shalom, YMSL powered by DSN.